Good day, my dear students. Welcome to our virtual class, a place where we can learn new things without getting worried of being infected with COVID-19. I'm teacher Eva, and I'm inviting you to join me in learning another meaningful lesson in English 9. But before we start, I'd like you to get hold of your ballpen, your notebook, and most importantly, your learning activity sheet in English 9, quarter 4, week 5. For a start, I'd like you to do the following exercise. This activity will check if you have remembered well the lesson previously given. You may pause this video if you need more time, then click the play button again. Once you're done, you may proceed and continue with the activity. Before we proceed to our next lesson, let's have a short recap. Previously, our topic was about argumentation. Now, what is argumentation again? Very good. <laughs> argumentation is a type of discourse based on opposing views that are supported by evidence. Now, why do we use argumentation? We argue to inquire, to convince, persuade, and negotiate. Now that we have recalled the purposes of argumentation, this time we will find out our lesson for today. Are you ready? Let's get started. Today's lesson would be focusing on judging the validity of an evidence from a text. With so many information around us, we must learn how to validate which information is true and which one is not. And so, our objective for today's lesson is first, to evaluate the validity of a text, and second, to identify evidence to support claims. But, the problem is, how can we judge the validity of a text? Before answering that question, I would like to show you jumbled letter words, and your task is to arrange them to form a word. And now, let us check if you got the correct word. The first word is claim. The second word, sight. The third word, evidence. And the fourth word, is validity. Did you get them all correctly? Very good. Now let's record again and be familiar with the following words. Claim, sight, evidence, and validity. So what is a claim? A claim is a statement that can be argued and proven with evidence. It is a statement that a person asserts as true Therefore, it needs valid evidence. It is not an obvious statement. Like, for example, when you say humans need oxygen to breathe, well, that's obvious, and everyone knows that. A claim is not a personal opinion. Like when you say dogs are better than cats, well, that's just a matter of opinion. A strong claim is specific. For example, School dress code should be abolished due to the economic and social restraints it places on students and families. So, for us to be able to judge the validity of an evidence, we need first to identify and understand the claim. Often, we can check our understanding to a reading text if we can find and cite the evidence that supports our answer to its process questions. And so, what do we mean by sight? Sight is a verb which means to state a source or provide an example to support a response. Another word to take note is evidence. When we say evidence, this refers to information that supports a claim. The fourth and final term is validity. Validity refers to statements that can be described as true or real. As we continue, let me present to you a scenario which is an example of an argument. 
Please allow me to read it for you. Jason's family lives in Sitio Atipolo, a barangay Poblacion Zone 2, Kapookan, Leyte. They're going to the mall, but he doesn't want to go. He argues that he should be allowed to stay at home and says that his friend Ray often stays at home alone. So based on the argument and evidence in the scenario, do you think Jason should be allowed to stay at home? Please write your answer on a piece of paper and you can reserve that for our discussion later. What makes a claim valid? If you answered one of these, then you're on the right track. A valid claim is true, it's on the topic, it is reasonable, it can be supported, it is logical, and it's important. How about evidence? What is evidence? Great! Evidence is a proof. It is the basis of your belief, an indication of something, it is a support, and these are facts. Okay, from the answers we have in questions 1 and 2, how can we define valid evidence? You're right. Valid evidence is always true. It is a reasonable information based on facts, and it supports an argument. Okay, so now we know what valid evidence is. Our next problem is to ensure that we have a valid evidence. How can we ensure that we have a valid evidence? Correct! We can make sure that our evidence is valid if we're able to cite the source of our proof and provide acceptable examples to support our claim. Okay, now let's try to check your answers from the scenario given at the beginning of this lesson. If you want to change your answer, it's okay, you may do so. Now let's try to analyze the scenario. Jason's family is going to the mall. Jason argues that he should be allowed to stay at home and says that Ray often stays at home alone. Now the question is, was Jason able to provide a valid evidence in his claim to support this argument of staying home alone? Yes or no? And why? Exactly! Unfortunately, Jason failed to provide valid evidence. His reasons wasn't enough. He missed citing acceptable source or example to support his claim. So this scenario describes that a person's age does not determine whether he or she is capable of staying home alone. Just because Ray can stay home, it does not mean that Jason can do it as well. It was not an acceptable reason. There are two kinds of evidence in an argument. The first one is direct evidence. This is any piece of evidence that stands alone to prove an argument. Example, if a witness says, he saw the accused set fire to a building. Number two is the indirect or the circumstantial evidence. This is a set of facts that when taken together lead to the desired conclusion. Example, if he saw the accused sneakily leaving the building just before the fire broke out. Now where do we get these pieces of evidence? Yes. When we use evidence in our arguments, make sure that it comes from reliable sources. Possible uh, sources of evidence are newspapers, magazines, official documents, or public documents, historical papers, or even statements made by trustworthy public officials, or even private persons. But, when you cite a person's statement as evidence, make sure that the person or the source is capable of giving the evidence that he or she has a reputation for honesty and accuracy and that he or she does not have prejudgment. Are you now ready for a short activity? Let's try this one. COVID-19 vaccines that are granted with Emergency Use Authorization, or EUA, by the Philippine Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, are considered safe and effective. 
based on the available evidence to date, vaccines are some of the most thoroughly tested medical products today, and the COVID-19 vaccines are no different. COVID-19 vaccines cannot make you sick with COVID-19. These vaccines imitate the virus that causes disease and activate the body's creation of antibodies. These antibodies will provide protection once a person is infected with the actual disease-causing virus. Can you tell me the point or the claim of the author here? Now let us see if your answer is correct. If your answer is this, you are definitely right. Now look at the point of the speaker. He says that COVID-19 vaccines are considered safe and effective. This time, let us see some evidence to support the point or claim. Can you spot the information that support the author's claim? Let us see if your answer is right. If this is your answer, excellent! You got it right! <laughs> to support his point or claim, he mentions that COVID-19, like other vaccines, are tested, so it means it's safe. Let us read again the text and look for another evidence. Can you spot for another evidence that support the author's claim? Let us see if you are correct. Nice work! You spot another evidence. Based on another supporting details, these vaccines trigger the body's creation of antibodies that will provide protection. So, are you now convinced to the writer's claim? If yes, Let's proceed to the next activity. In this age of technology, news spreads fast. When a story is a big news, it is very quick to spread. There is a lot of fake news coming around. We're not only having pandemic, but also infodemic. Several informations are circulating about the origin of COVID-19 virus, the efficacy of COVID-19 vaccines, the death of famous local and international celebrities, and even the products advertised on televisions. We have to be very careful in sharing this news or information because we will be responsible for those information. So therefore, it is always important to check the reliability and the credibility of the sources of information for us to tell that the evidences used the support claim in an argument are valid. Did you learn something from our discussion today? Well, I hope you have learned many things. In case you miss something, you can always play the video. So we are now down to the evaluation part. This is to find out if you have understood the lesson very well. I'm going to flash the instruction and the activity on screen and you can pause it if you need more time and play it again. So that would be all for today's session. I hope you have learned many things from the discussion. Please don't forget to submit your answer sheet on the next retrieval schedule. Once again, I'm Teacher Eva saying thank you for staying with me and I'm looking forward to discussing with you another meaningful lesson in the future. Thank you and stay safe.